Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about uh, the automatic uh, 1111 stable diffusion web UI. So one wonderful thing about uh, this uh, project is about uh, the extension. You can use lots of the extension to help you to achieve like a better AI generated image. So feel free to take a look at uh, their wiki page about uh, the extensions. So I think they have uh, lots of uh, examples here. Feel free to try them. So today I want to quickly show you about uh, one of the most uh, useful extension, like uh, in my opinion, which is uh, control net. So I had a video about uh, the control net previously. So the control net allows you to control the output of the image generating. So I think that will be especially useful if you want to find control about the output generating process. So feel free to take a look at their GitHub page. And uh, for the actual extension, there's a dedicated uh, GitHub repo right here. So I will like show you how to install it. And then I will also to do a quick test drive about the install the control net. So yeah, let's uh, get uh, started. So we will go to our repo and uh, launch yeah in this demo I'm using the Nvidia graphic card so I have the X formals flag. So if you are using AMD GPU, you will not need this one. Okay, we see that uh, it has successfully loaded uh, the model. And uh, we can open that in our web browser. All right, so to install the extension, you will need to go to the extensions tab here. And uh, you go to the install from URL. So I already have that installed. So in my case, it will show up right here. But if you are starting from scratch, you will not have that right here. So you will need to go to the sold tab called the uh, install from URL and you will input the URL for the extensions uh, git repository so which is uh, the one I showed uh, previously so yeah I, I think uh, in this repo they also have a section called uh, installation you can use that as a reference And uh, after that, you can press uh, install. Yeah, in my case, because I already have that, so it uh, showed an error. But like in your case, you will see that uh, it uh, started to download uh, some files. It may take uh, a while. And uh, and after that, you can start to uh, restart your web UI. In my case, I will press Control plus C in my web like a terminal console, and uh, you start the web UI again.
Okay, and uh, after that, you go to your home page, and at this point, you will see there's a, a section called a Control Net, like uh, near the bottom of your web page. So I think that uh, shows that uh, it uh, successfully installed uh, the Control Net extension. Congratulations. Right, so you can see there's a whole section dedicated uh, to control net. There are many, many of the import. You can upload the import image. There's a control type. There's a model selection. All right, so if you got it this far, congratulations. And also check the image to image tab. Similarly, you can see there's uh, the control net session near the bottom of the page. Okay, so let's uh, um, start uh, to put uh, the models for control net to the automatic web UI repository. So so there is a directory called extensions in your home root for stable diffusion web UI. So right here, extensions. And uh, after you install the control net, it will create an empty like photos without any models. SD web UI control net. And then you will need to download uh, the control net uh, models to here. So I will show you how to download that. So you, you go to the control net uh, repository on Hugging Face. This is from the original author. So, so in this uh, directory, it has all the like different type of uh, models. So for example, it has uh, the kenny.pth. So you will need to click uh, the download button right here to start the downloading. So yeah, so in this case, you will start the downloading. So Usually you can download all of them or you can select which one you are interested in and then download it yet. All right, so, so after that, for example, I previously downloaded the, these models. So, and then I will like copy them to the directory I showed you earlier. So in this case, you can like uh, drag and drop to the uh, location here. There's a models directory here. So, and uh, then you can, because I already copied the Kenny urban pose and the type tile like models to here so scribble here the sec here All right. We basically use the same image and uh, we enable the control net. We use the urban pose model and uh, for the prompt part, we will do go dance on long 
red sky for negative prompt we do uh, ugly lack of details and for the sampling method we can choose uh, dp ddim we increase the sampling steps to 25 and uh, press uh, generate to kick off the first time loading it will take uh, some time but after that it will be fairly quick alright we will see that we have uh, um, the output generated so we probably don't want uh, the long dress so we see shots yeah I think uh, it works uh, very good yeah I highly recommend that you give it a try all right, so so as uh, like uh, in the in extension tab, there's uh, some other installed uh, extension, and uh, we can see that uh, we can also to check for updates. And we do see that the control net has uh, one update available apply and uh, restart UI so this time it will update your control net I will leave you to do that all right so I feel this is a, it's a pretty straightforward uh, process to install the extension and then after the ins installation like uh, in future you can easily apply like uh, doing the update to make it uh, stay up to date and the for the utilization actual usage you will have a um, dedicated uh, new section near the bottom of your page and you can expand it you add uh, parameters it can easily like uh, get you going all right in summary, I think uh, it's a smooth experience. I hope you find my video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.